Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I'm gonna be making a sick theming tutorial. I know you've all been waiting for it. Well I'll show you how to convert your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus from this totally touch with specific white user interface to this amazing neon full black theme. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you would already know that I'm a huge fan of Android theming. As you can see here on my Galaxy S4, which I've been using for more than 4 years now, I'm really into completely dark overlays. The theme won't uh, only look great, at least in my perspective, but also will improve the battery life of your device, since Super AMOLED screens are less power consuming when displaying black colors, not to mention how deep and sexy the black color looks like on them. So, in order to completely succeed following my theming instructions, you may need to watch various tutorials slash walkthroughs for my channel during the whole process. They will be surely mentioned and placed in the card section. Now, you may think at some point that there are a lot of tutorials to be followed and you are totally right. I assure you that it is worth it and they are really well done so that you won't really encounter a lot of problems following them. There are some things that you need to know before attempting to do this. You're going to follow three major steps in this tutorial. The first one is the process of getting Renovate Ice ROM running on your device. Why Renovate Ice ROM? Because it is currently the only ROM which allows customization options in the color section of the status bar. We will see these options later on. Having a custom ROM means that you will need TWRP recovery in order to install it. If you don't know how to install TWRP in your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, visit the video in the car section and come back to this one after you completely install it. The second step is the one in which I will install a full black theme, which is not on Samsung's Steam Store and will have to set it permanently by following another tutorial in the car section. I'll get back to it later. Finally, the last step will include the installation process of all my important apps that I frequently use and the novel settings I will play with in order to achieve the brand new look of my Samsung Galaxy S8. A quick note before we get wicked, all the links for the files I used in this video are listed in the description. I guess you are really curious to see this tutorial, so without further ado, say it with me. Let's get wicked. So, as I told you, the first step is the installation process of uh, Renovate Ice Custom ROM. In order to do so, reboot into TWR pre recovery. At this point, if you want to keep all your files and your current configuration intact, since you may want to restore it back later, visit the video on how to back up your current configuration in the card section. If you, if you just want to erase everything and proceed to the tutorial, continue watching. Click wipe and swipe to factory reset. Then go to install and select Renovate Ice Zip and uh, again swipe to install. You can customize the ROM in a ROM installer so you can make it unique. After the installation process, click reboot and get a cup of coffee or something. The first booting process will take up to 7 minutes. I had to put all my accounts and credentials in and afterwards I got hit again by the whitish user interface which I absolutely hate the most about this phone. Now you need to install the full black theme application which you can download from description panel. Then open up theme store and set it as a free trial. Things will start to look promising immediately after, but now you will need to follow the tutorial on how to set the theme permanently in the card section, since a theme which is not officially available in the theme store will be reverted back to stock if you won't follow the steps in that tutorial, so make sure you check it out. After you completely boot it up again, you can see a minor glitch in the notification panel. Some colors are not clear and they don't really look well. That's why Renovate Ice ROM comes into place with their amazing app called Rice. Here you can customize many settings starting from the clock position, going to the numbers of rows and columns in the quick settings panel and finally into the color section. Here you can customize those color bugs I've been telling you about. Follow the settings shown in the video and at the end if you want to have a uh, pixel-like navigation bar, install the APK of it, listed again in the description. Reboot the device in order to apply all the changes. Finally, after your device completely booted up, it's time to get to the last step, the installation of our favorite apps, I will surely use Titanium Backup to do so. Now, let's get rid of the shitty touches home launcher and set Nova as the default one. So, to be clear, until now you should have the black user interface theme installed along with all your apps and Nova Launcher as your default launcher. 
So we are ready to set the prerequisites for the Nova configuration. So I will get into Nova settings and right there I will let the video roll because there are too many settings to talk about and it would take forever. So in order to save you some time I will speed up the video a little bit with some chilled out background music and let you configure your device as I did in order to get the same effect. Ok, so finally here's the result I got. I guess you are able to set your device like mine from here. Just drag and drop your icons from the drawer in this pattern. If you're wondering about the widgets I used, the clock one is the stock one that came with the icon pack. The text one is uh, any, any text widget and finally the weather one is funny weather. All of them are from Google Play Store and as always all the links are listed in the description. The wallpaper came with the neon icon pack and it looks absolutely stunning. A quick little presentation. On the primary screen I got all the apps that I use the most every day. Like WhatsApp, Power Amp, Waze Navigation, Camera, Google Chrome and so on and so forth. On the right screen I got some quick dial numbers and some apps which I use but not so often as the ones on the main screen. Like Shazam, Calendar, Calculator, Maps, Photos, etc. On the left screen though, I got some useful system apps like Rise and Magisk and some apps which I barely use like Internet Movie Database and Booking. So that was the full theming tutorial and this was the final result. I hope you enjoyed it and if you think I helped you, leave a thumbs up and share the video so that many S8 or SC Plus users will see it. I put a lot of effort in every video so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on the Galaxy S8. As always, thank you for watching, Wicked is out, take care, bye bye.